Levers and limbs. So a mechanical lever is a device that converts an effort force into a load force. And that conversion depends on the distance between the effort force and the axis of rotation, which we'll call the fulcrum, and the corresponding distance between the load and the fulcrum. So if uh, you uh, learned about torque, then you know the amount of torque depends on the length of the lever arm. So here we have uh, two lever arms, one between the effort force uh, and the axis of rotation, and the other one between the load and the axis of rotation. Now, the uh, interest that we have in levers for uh, animation is that uh, limbs uh, operate as levers. So the effort force uh, is created by the contraction of a, of a muscle. Uh, the load is um, the um, either the weight of the limb or any additional force that has to be exerted um, by the limb. Uh, and then the fulcrum is the point of rotation, so that is the location of the joint. So, for example, with the elbow being the joint, uh, perhaps the bicep would be the um, muscle that exerts the effort that uh, lifts the forearm. And there's lots of uh, similar sorts of joints throughout the body. Now, there's uh, three classes of levers. Uh, the one that's probably the most familiar is the first class lever, which has the fulcrum located uh, between where the effort force is applied and where the load force is uh, created. So, uh, so we see an example of it here. Um, we have the effort force on the left uh, pushing down and that lifts a load uh, on the right. Now, the, um, if we have a long effort arm and a short load arm, then a small effort force will lift a large load. But not every first class lever is designed that way. So the one we were looking at there, um, we have a small effort uh, force lifting a large load. However, uh, while this is efficient, it's slow because the effort uh, has to go through a large distance to move the load over a small distance. This is the price you pay uh, for being efficient. On the other hand, if the uh, effort arm is short and the load arm is long, then you need a large effort to lift a smaller load. However, you only have to exert that effort over a small distance to move the load over a large distance. So we say this is inefficient uh, but fast because of that large distance that's moved. Now, some examples of first class levers. A uh, crowbar is sort of an obvious one. Uh, uh, scissors, if you think about it, is a pair of first class levers. And both of these are efficient so that they can exert a large force, uh, but they're uh, slow. An example of a first class lever which is uh, inefficient but fast would be a trebuchet. So a trebuchet uses the weight on one end, uh, uses a very large uh, weight that comes down, and then the other arm is quite long so that the uh, projectile which is thrown by the trebuchet uh, goes at a high speed. Now the next class of lever is a second class lever and in this case the load is uh, positioned uh, in between the effort force on one side and the fulcrum on the other side. Now in this case uh, because the effort arm is always longer than the load arm these are always efficient but they're always slow. Uh, example would be a wheelbarrow um, uh, and a hole punch. Again, both of these uh, allow you to um, ex uh, exert a smaller effort for a resulting large load. Then finally, the, the last and um, third class is 
uh, in this form where the effort is in between the load and the fulcrum. Uh, these third class levers are always inefficient because the effort arm is always shorter than the load arm, but they are always fast. So uh, examples of third class levers would be, say, a broom, um, and in terms of joints, the, uh, the jaw. So uh, here we have the jaw muscle, and the load is uh, further out um, from the, uh, where the jaw muscle is located. Uh, the human arm, the bicep, is a third class lever. So we have the um, fulcrum at the elbow, the bicep muscle actually connects close to the fulcrum, and then uh, the load is much farther from the elbow. Even when you're not lifting a weight just from the weight of your arm, the um, bicep muscle has a short effort arm because it's located close to the elbow. Uh, the tricep is a matched um, uh, muscle on the other side, which pulls the arm in the opposite direction. And in fact, because muscles can only contract, you'll almost always find them uh, paired in this uh, fashion to move the limb uh, in one direction uh, with one muscle and then in the other direction with the other muscle. Uh, an example of a second class lever uh, in the body is uh, here in the uh, calf muscle. So uh, this one needs to be efficient because it lifts the entire weight of the body. So uh, in this case, the, um, the load is a position, you can uh, determine where the load is by locating the center of gravity and uh, drawing the line of gravity. Um, so in this case, the um, load is uh, located somewhere around the center of the foot and then the calf muscle pulls um, on the other end uh, close to the heel. So this would be, say, uh, lifting up the whole body on your toes. Uh, and you notice that here, if you uh, shift your weight uh, forward, then that uh, position of the line of gravity shifts forward uh, toward your toes, and that uh, shortens the load arm and uh, doing that uh, makes the lever more efficient. And so it's easier to uh, raise your body on your toes by weight shifting uh, forward. Then uh, finally, there's only one first class lever in the body, and that one is the, um, <coughs> uh, the neck. So the neck muscle uh, pulls down in order to uh, lift the, the head. Uh, but this one is also a, an inefficient but uh, fast lever because the muscle is located close to the uh, joint there where the fulcrum is. Now, uh, you might be surprised that um, levers in the body tend to be uh, inefficient, but the reason that we sacrifice efficiency is that usually it's more important for the limbs to uh, be fast especially because muscle contractions uh, are over a relatively short distance, and so you want to uh, move the limb over a large distance with only a short uh, muscle contraction, and for that, um, the levers have to be um, inefficient. Um, and this serves to maintain a relatively compact uh, body form in animals. So in uh, summary, a uh, lever is a mechanical device that converts an effort force into a load force uh, by the ratio of the distance of the effort arm to the load arm uh, relative to the fulcrum. There's uh, three classes of levers depending on the relative positions of the fulcrum, effort, and load. Uh, limbs operate as levers with the fulcrum being the joint and the muscle uh, exerting the effort force. And finally, most levers uh, in the body are inefficient, which means they require a large effort force relative to the load. However, they are fast, which means that a small muscle contraction will move a load 
over a large distance. So hopefully uh, looking at uh, limbs in this fashion uh, helps you understand what's going on with their motion.